So basically what we were doing was um, we were doing an ecological study of diamondback terrapins and their nesting habits. Um, we actually didn't find a whole lot concerning the nesting. We found a couple nesting beaches, but most of them have been predated. So mostly what we were looking at was marking and documenting the population in the Catlett Islands off of the York River. Throughout the research project, we caught and released 78 terrapins. Um, we notched their shells and numbered them, but we didn't actually have any recaptures, which was really interesting. Another purpose of our project was to establish like a baseline of these are the turtles that we found. We numbered them and notched them. So that way, like I said, if someone wants to come back and be like, oh, okay, like this is how healthy the population is growing. Are they all dying off at a certain age or are they growing up to the point of maturity? Terrapins are really important for seed dispersal as well. Um, within the bay and within the river, specifically upriver, which is where they live. And that's the main reason that we were looking at them because if you have a really healthy population of terrapins, you have a really healthy amount of seed dispersal within the ecosystem. I was with Dr. Chambers, I was with my partner Justin, and then I was with um, Dr. Chambers' assistant, Adriana. And we went out and we're just kind of looking around on the Catlett Islands to try and find like good places to put our crab pots. And um, we kept finding old pots that were probably like decades old that had completely corroded, that had washed into the island. But we found one that was actually an, like, a, like a current in use pot that had a number on it. And it had 30 dead terrapins in it, um, which was really, really sad. We named one. We had a couple names for just some of the little ones, um, but we named one specifically. We caught this huge female. Um, we have no idea how she got in the pot. <laughs> have no idea how she fit through, but um, we named her Big Bertha. <laughs> and that happened at the very beginning of the project, and then we never saw her again, sadly.